What do you mean by a boost converter? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome back to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let me ask you guys the obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term boost converter? Well, let's find out. So a boost converter is a kind of DC to DC converter. That is, it converts one kind of a DC voltage to another kind of DC voltage. Or to be specific here, it is a type of step up DC converter. So let us assume that we take a particular input voltage, say Vs. This is the voltage source. So now if this voltage source is given to a particular boost converter, then it will be boosted and an output voltage Vo is obtained, which is greater than the input voltage. That is V0 will be very much greater than Vs. That is the output voltage obtained from a boost converter will be very much greater than the input voltage. So this kind of a DC to DC converter is referred to as a boost converter. That is whatever input we are giving it is being boosted and this boosted voltage is obtained at the output. That is what we refer to as a boost converter. So now let us see the circuit diagram of a boost converter. So first let us take a particular source voltage. Let this be a particular source voltage say Vs. And now in the case of a boost converter, what we observe is that this particular source voltage Vs is connected to a particular inductor like this. And then this inductor is then connected to a switch like this. Here a particular switch is provided. And now a particular diode is connected like this. In the forward bias condition. And after that it is connected to a particular load like this. So it is across this load that we obtain the boosted output voltage. And now across this load over here, a particular capacitor is connected across this load like this. So let this capacitor be say C, let this diode be say D, and let this inductor be say L. Okay, so this is the basic diagram of a boost converter. So here, this switch can be in two modes. That is, either the switch can be on or the switch can be off. So let us see the two cases. So what happens here is that this is a switched regulator. That is, this switch consecutively becomes on, off, on, off, on, off. That's how this particular boost converter works. So let us consider the first condition in which the switch is on. So let us assume that the switch is on. So now when the switch is in the on condition, what we observe is that the current will flow through this particular loop like this. A particular current will flow like this inside this particular loop. Current won't go into this particular loop. That is this particular portion of the circuit will be omitted. And therefore a current will start flowing in this particular loop. But what we observe here is that as the current flows through this particular loop, as the current increases, the energy will be stored in the magnetic field that is associated with this particular inductor. That is, this inductor will start getting charged. The energy will start building up inside the inductor. So therefore, the time for which this particular switch is on, this particular inductor starts getting charged. That is, the energy starts building and therefore it will develop a polarity where this is positive and this is negative. So that is what happens when this particular switch is on. So now next case let us assume that this particular switch is turned off. Okay, so now in the off condition what we see is that this current will not flow. That is the current won't flow through the switch because the switch is off. So therefore this particular current element will be absent. It won't be there. And therefore what we observe here is that the current will flow through the outer loop like this. But when it flows here, what we observe is that at the output voltage, a sum of this voltage Vs and the voltage that was initially present when the switch was on in the particular inductor Vl. So the sum of Vs and Vl will be obtained at the output. So in this condition, the polarity here changes. This becomes plus and this becomes minus. So therefore, as a result of this, at the output over here, V0 becomes equal to Vs plus Vl. That is, a particular boosted output is obtained across a particular load. So this thus is the basic principle behind what you refer to as a boost converter. 
So now again when the switch is turned on, what we observe is that when the switch is turned on, what we observe is that the polarity becomes reverse. This becomes plus, this becomes minus. Current starts flowing like this. Current flows here and the energy starts building here until a particular value. And therefore the potential across this inductor also starts increasing. And therefore then when the switch is again turned off, what we observe is that this current becomes absent and the current starts flowing like this and the polarity over here gets reversed and therefore the voltage again across this particular load will be equal to the sum of the source voltage and the inductor voltage. Therefore the boosted voltage is obtained across the output. So here at the output what happens here is that this particular output voltage that is the Vs plus Vl that voltage is stored inside this particular capacitor. And it is this capacitor that provides the particular voltage to the load. Why is that? This is because when this voltage is stored in the capacitor, then this capacitor can be used to provide a pure DC source to the load. So therefore, with the help of this particular capacitor, we can eliminate the ripple components or the AC components that might develop while this particular inductor discharges. And therefore, when the capacitor discharges or provides a particular voltage to the output load, the current won't flow like this back towards the voltage because when it tries to flow back, the diode will be in the reverse bias condition. So therefore, this diode is provided so that the current only flows in this direction. That is why this particular diode is provided here. So therefore, this thus is the basic principle of what you refer to as a boost converter. As simple as that guys, as simple as that. So what you have to deduce from this is that the extra boost that is provided at the output is because of this particular inductor. That is, it is a charging property of this particular inductor that helps us to provide that extra boost at the output. That is, when the switch is consecutively turned on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, when it is done that, this particular inductor gets charged and discharged, charged and discharged, charged and discharged. So first energy starts building up in this inductor when the switch is on and when it is off, this energy will be provided along with this Vs to the load and therefore boosted voltage output is obtained over here. Now let us see the waveforms that are associated with a particular boost converter. So for this let us take the time along the x-axis and let us divide this time into the on time and off time like this. So this is T on and this is T off. Like that similarly this is T on and this is T off. That is the switch alternatively becomes on off, on off, on off. So let this be the first on condition and let this be the first off condition. Let this be a second on condition and let this be the second off condition. Okay. First, let us plot the waveform for the output voltage V0. Okay. Let us take the output voltage V0. So initially in the on condition when the switch is on, what we observe is that the current will flow through this particular loop. That is, there is no flow of current through this load whatsoever. So therefore the voltage at the output is zero. So therefore in the on condition the voltage at the output is here like this. Next let us off the particular switch. When the switch is off what we observe is that at the load we obtain the voltage from Vs as well as Vl. That is V0 becomes Vs plus Vl. Therefore we obtain a waveform like this. That this value is equal to Vs plus Vl. So therefore again when the switch is on, we obtain a waveform which is equal to 0. That is there is no voltage across the load. And again when the switch is turned off, we observe that the particular voltage obtained at the output is equal to sum of the voltage source plus the voltage of the inductor like this. So this is the waveform of the output voltage that is obtained in a boost converter. Next let us see the value for the inductor current IL. So here initially when the switch is on what we observe is that the energy starts getting built inside the inductor that is energy gradually increases inside the inductor so therefore the current also gradually starts increasing in the inductor from a minimum value to a maximum value. So let us consider two values here. Let this be the minimum inductor current and let this be the maximum inductor current. So therefore in the on condition what we observe is that the inductor current starts moving or starts increasing from a minimum value to a maximum value. 
and now when the switch is turned off what we observe is that this inductor starts discharging and therefore the inductor current starts decreasing from a maximum value to the minimum value like this subsequently the same thing happens in the next on condition and the same thing happens in the next off condition next let us see the value for the diode current so diode current id so here the diode in the diode what we observe is that when the switch is turned on there is no current flowing through the diode so therefore the diode current in the on condition is zero but when the switch is turned off what we observe is that the same value of the inductor current also flows through the diode so therefore we obtain something like this it's the same inductor current the same current flows through the diode again when the switch is turned on we observe that the current starts flowing in this loop and no current flows through the diode so therefore we obtain something like this and again when the switch is turned off we obtain the same current as that of the inductor current like this so therefore these thus are the basic waveforms of a particular boost converter as simple as that so this thus sums up what you refer to as a boost converter or a step up dc to dc converter so here we saw what you mean by a step up or a boost dc to dc converter and we also saw the circuit diagram and the working of a boost converter along with the waveforms that are associated with a particular boost converter so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a boost converter and we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you